On October 29, 1969, at 10.30 at night, there's an entry there which says, we talk to SRI host to host. Essentially, that is a record of the first message ever on the internet. It connected UCLA through its switch, through the high-speed line, to the switch at SRI, to the host at SRI. So the question is, what was that first message? Was it really something good like what God hath wrought, basically from Samuel Morse more than a century ago? Watson, come here, I need you, the first telephone message. Or more recently, one giant leap from mankind, Neil Armstrong, who stepped on the moon. Those guys were smart. They understood public media. They understood how to get the message out and get known. Every one of us knows those messages. Century and a half later, we had no clue. All we wanted to do was to log in from our machine to theirs. And to log in, you have to type L-O-G. And the I-N, the remote machine will type because it's smart enough to know what you're doing. So we got all ready. Here's the setup again. We had, essentially, Charlie Klein down at my machine typing in, and Bill Duval up at the SRI machine. And we had a telephone connection just in case. So we started. We had to type L-O-G. So we typed the L and said, you get the L? Zip, got the L. <laughs> Type the O. You get the O? Got the O. Type the G. You get the G? Crash. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so what was the first message ever on the internet? Lo. As in, lo and behold. We couldn't have asked for a more succinct prophetic message than that by accident. But it's the best one ever. And hopefully no one will ever forget that.